What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about the 5 best features of the new Firefox Quantum Browser which I think will make your life more easier. So here we go. Okay, the first thing I want to show you right here is uh, how you can pretty much customize uh, you know the, the items which uh, which you see right here on the top right hand side so you can pretty much put whatever you want or take it off from there so the way you do that is go ahead and uh, what do you call click on this open menu thing you know click on that and then go all the way down here to customize and uh, click on that and once you click on customize you get all these things all right so all these things which you see here are things which you can drag and drop right here so for example you see this download symbol so basically if you don't want this thing right here you can actually drag uh, and drop it right here and instead if you want this options uh, to be on the top uh, right hand side you can put it right here or if you don't want it you can place it anywhere basically anywhere you want you know Right, the second thing that I want to show you is uh, how to grab a screenshot. So it's pretty easy uh, with, the, with the Quantum Browser. Uh, basically what you do is you see this three dots right here. So click on this and uh, click on this, take a screenshot. Right, click on that one. And once you click on it, the browser will randomly select an area for you. and. Uh, uh, if you hover over the web page, it uh, selects random areas. So click on that, and you can pretty much, you know, you can pretty much like contract and expand. Once you're satisfied and you're happy, go ahead and press save. And once you press save, what Quantum does is it saves it here. I think it might be some kind of a cloud environment or something I don't know I don't know what it is but here you see here it says expires in 14 days so basically once you grab a screenshot Firefox places it in this area for you for 14 days for so in the meanwhile in the 14 days if you want to make use of that screenshot you can do that if you want to download it you can download it by you know going ahead and clicking on the download button right here so you can save that uh, to your computer and now feature number three okay you, once again you're reading an article and you really like this article you're in love with it and uh, you want this article so much you don't want to lose it so what you do is once again you see this three dots right here click on that one and this time you click on save page to pocket so once you click on that one okay the page is saved to pocket so how are you going to view this article which is saved in pocket so basically you see this view list click on this one and once you click on this one right the pocket is now loading the articles that you saved okay so basically you see this here right here it's saved right here so if you click on this one on day 10 or something So basically this article is right here for you to read. So that's a pretty handy feature, you know. Feature number four. Once again, you're reading this article and then you go like, wow, this article is such an eye opener. I want to send this article link to Barbara. Probably they'll take her out of her misery. So instead of you going here in the address bar and then selecting everything and then right clicking and copying oh that's so much work now all you got to do is you see these three buttons right here click on that one and then go down here to copy a link and once you click on it there you go you see this green little green box which says copy that's it makes life so much more easier and one more feature right here is email link it pretty much explains itself so you can email the link so once you click on it the email interface opens up and you can email the link to anyone you want and feature number five which I find pretty helpful is this full screen arrow right here with arrows pointing on either direction so most often you find this toolbar 
or this upper part of the browser pretty much occupies like 30% or 20% of the screen, you know? So if you don't want this part, so what you do is you just click here and there you go, it disappears. So you got full screen of YouTube right here. And now you want to bring it uh, back again to normal. All you got to do is hover your mouse on this area and there you go and click the arrow again and now it's normal thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe